I'm Dr. Coleman Martin, an interventional neurologist at the St. Luke's Neuroscience Institute in Kansas City, Missouri. This is Interventional Stroke Rounds. Today we have a dramatic case showing the results possible with a new stroke reversal system. My partner, Dr. William Holloway, an interventional neuroradiologist, will introduce the case and our patient, Mr. Henricks. So Mr. Henricks, what happened to you the other day that uh, brought you into the hospital initially? Just as having chest pains, and uh, they gave me some painkillers to get away, and I was sitting there in the afternoon, thought it was okay, and then all of a sudden, thought I had to go to the bathroom, and tried to ask her, and it was just garbage coming out of my mouth. And, and you couldn't talk correctly? Couldn't talk correctly, okay. and that's about the last I remember in that room. Okay. And your wife was with you at that time, and what do you remember from exactly what happened when you tried to talk with him? What, what do you remember? Uh, first, great concern because he wasn't talking to me in uh, a language I understood. I left the room to go get the nurses. The nurses come in and from there things really went to town. Bill, how did you become involved? I was asked by the nurse to come evaluate Mr. Hendricks for his new uh, symptoms and I came to the bedside and discovered that he was unable to speak, unable to understand when I asked him questions, and also unable to move the right side, including the arm, leg, and his right face. We're catching Mr. Henricks at the onset of a fairly severe stroke. His head CT did not show any bleeding. Did Mr. Henricks get the standard medical therapy, the clot-busting medicine, intravenous TPA? He um, was not a candidate for intravenous TPA because of the recent surgical procedure he had undergone and was therefore a candidate for a mechanical uh, thrombectomy device called the solitaire device. We brought him urgently to angiography and performed a catheter angiogram. By tracking a catheter from the leg up to the blood vessels in the neck and injecting x-ray dye, and these images confirmed that the left middle cerebral artery was completely occluded by a thrombus. We then utilized the solitaire device and deployed it across the thrombus and were able to retrieve the device and the clot. Um, and immediately after uh, removing the clot, we noticed that he could move his right arm and right leg again and started to talk. He was able to tell me his name uh, within five minutes of removing the clot. And his speech continued to improve dramatically after that. Solitaire is a very innovative device. It's deployed like a stent in a brain artery. It traps clot, allowing the clot to be removed from the artery. Here's the solitaire device in a flow model. This is a simulated clot. The device is deployed across a clot and given a bit of time to trap the clot. Then, the solitaire device is gently withdrawn, taking the clot out of the body. Mrs. Henricks, how did your husband appear after he returned from the angiogram? My husband was back. Uh, that meant he could move, he could smile, he could speak. He was just back. What's the next thing that you remember after the procedure? The first thing I remember is actually while the procedure was going on, since I was trying to move or, or talk and I couldn't do anything, then finally the voice come back normal and I could see off to that one side that there was people there. I thought there was anybody, there wasn't anybody in there. Uh -huh. The whole procedure, I was getting a little upset because nobody said, <laughs> uh -huh. but then I could see him. And then when I got back to the room there and seen her, and that's the best smile I've ever seen with her. <laughs> How does Solitaire compare with the previous generation of clot retrieval devices? So the Solitaire device opens a blood vessel about 2.7 times more frequently than the older generation device and also results in a 50% decrease in mortality at 90 days um, compared to the older device. Thank you Dr. Holloway, Mr. and Mrs. Henricks. Currently, St. Luke's Hospital is the only hospital in the greater Kansas City area that has a solitaire device. If you or a family member has a stroke, get here fast. At St. Luke's Hospital, we care about stroke and interventional education. Feel free to share this video on your blog, Facebook, and Twitter.
another stroke. Gotta go.